Hi, I'm George, TSG's HPI Product Manager. In this demo, I'm going to overview how to install HPI from an open source download for Documentum. So here I am on the uh, TSG open source page, and I've uh, scrolled down here to the HPI section, and uh, I have the link here for downloading the HPI 2.1 for Documentum. So I go ahead and do that. As you can see, I've already uh, downloaded it here. Um, so once you've downloaded it, um, just go ahead and extract the zip file and you should have some more files and a readme with uh, links to the installation instructions as well as the setup folder that has the composer projects and DAR files. Um, so I'm going to go through the installation guide. If you've downloaded it, um, you can follow along with the installation instructions, um, but I'm going to go ahead and just walk through the installation now. So the first part is to install open content. Um, the installation for uh, open content is pretty simple. Um, there's maybe some configuration files that you need to update inside this war file. Um, this war file is already set up for my environment, so I'm just going to go ahead and deploy this war. Um, but there's instructions on our wiki for uh, what you need to change for updating the configuration for your environment. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this open content war. And I have a Apache Tomcat, just a simple web server here for me to uh, deploy war files. And um, the only requirement is that this uh, is a Java application server that has access to your uh, dock broker. So this is just a new web app, so I'm just going to deploy it in here and go ahead and paste it. And so then I could just start up uh, open content or start up Tomcat and open content would be deployed. So since I'm also deploying HPI and open annotate, instead of starting up Tomcat, I'm just going to uh, do the same thing for those installations. So here I'm gonna take HPI and open annotate and paste those in as well. Um, again, there are there may be some configuration files that you'll have to change in these war files, but again, they're set up properly for my environment, so I don't need to do that. One quick note, um, for the open source download, um, you must deploy HPI and open content to the same application server. Um, if you want to deploy them to different application servers, there's instructions on the wiki. Um, but if you don't do anything and, and try to deploy HPI to a different application server, uh, you will get cross-domain errors in HPI. So my next step is I'm just going to go ahead and start up uh, Tomcat. So I have a shortcut over here, and I'll just go ahead and start it up. And um, while that is starting up, the only other installation step here is to deploy the uh, DAR files. So in the setup folder, um, you have a couple of options. We essentially have two DARs, the main HPI DAR and then a getting started DAR. Uh, the basic difference is that everything you need to run HPI is in the HPI DAR as far as the types and TBOs and all that kind of good stuff. Um, the getting started DAR con contains a set of default configs. So um, it's kind of a good starting point. Um, you could set this up from scratch, but we recommend using our getting started DAR to de deploy a simple set of configs that you can tweak and get an idea of how um, HPI uh, works. So I'm gonna go ahead, um, I've actually pulled both of these project zips into Composer uh, just for simple deployment here. Like I said, you can deploy the DAR or load up the project. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, um, you do have to do these in a certain order. You have to deploy the HPR, HPI project first and then the HPI getting started. Um, so I'm just going to right click here and say to install HPI in the uh, repository. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And you can make any updates if you like here. And I'm going to just go ahead and finish. Um, this can take a minute or so, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this demo and we'll resume when the DAR is finished. All right, so that DAR finished up. Uh, now that that's in there, we can do the same thing for our getting started DAR. I'll go ahead and do an install here. 
and just install it to the same repository and uh, again you can make some changes there I'll just go ahead and finish alright so now that that is done um, we can jump here over to uh, either DA or Webtop and I'm just gonna log in here just to show uh, one what the getting started DAR did and, and two there is uh, one small configuration we need to do at the groups um, so first of all the getting started DAR basically all that does is it installs a HPI cabinet here and uh, puts in a default set of configs to get you started again you could do all this from scratch uh, but it's a good idea to start with what we have provided out of the box. Um, so the only thing you have to do here is add some users to a group. Um, so if you go to groups and uh, the first DAR, the uh, HPI DAR, will create an HPI administrators group. Um, this repository happened to already have a group with some users in it. Um, whoops. So if I go here, uh, basically all you need to do is add some groups and or users uh, to that to that group so now that that's done and while we were doing this my Tomcat server is up so I should be able to head over to HPI so now the first time that HPI loads it will take a little bit of time to start up um, basically what it's doing is it's reading in the data dictionary information from the repository um, the first time, again, like I said, it will take a minute or so to load, uh, but after that it will be really quick. Um, so this is a fairly small repository, so it, it actually happened pretty quickly. Uh, but now I can log in as an HPI administrator user, and I will be taken to my dashboard, um, which we just set up very simply here. Um, but now you can get started using HPI. Uh, we set up a very basic search over here to search for documents and folders. Um, but you'll want to head into the admin to make whatever configuration changes you would like for your repository. Well, that's it for this demo. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out our website at tsgrp.com.